What's going on everybody? Today I am at VWI. I'm heading out to Chicago. And stay tuned. Hey, what's going on everybody? Just landed in Chicago. I'm riding here with Mr. What was your name, sir? HR. HR. He's taking me into Chicago. Town. The World Series town. I have a feeling it might be a little bit busy these next few days. They're they trying to dismantle America. They're they trying to uh, destroy the folks keeping the law. But that's what I do. I teach the mysteries of the Bible and, and show him the Bible. They got big on television. And I gave my cell number to call me. The kingdom. Call me. But he's doing fine. He got millions of people. Probably a billionaire. Then I'm on EV and economy mode. Save gas, save more gas than the damn diesel. He ran the whole, he was the only guy in New York with, damn, with heat on, man. The whole neighborhood was in his house. See, they barbecued in the back. You gotta have the music up, way up. And uh, see, it. he had the people in the attic, the garage, the basement, crawl space. Hallway, everybody was sleeping good. Man. Probably my coldest night ever, though, was was actually here in Chicago. I came I came down here. It was you know I was I was in the Navy and I was coming from Great Lakes. Yeah. And I missed the last subway back, and it was so cold that night. I had to wait till like seven or eight in the morning. Yeah, I had to wait the outside. Train. You missed the Northwestern train. Oh, yeah. And yeah. nobody wanted to let me pee. Like, no, you know? they don't let you pee nowhere. <laughs> because when they used to keep it open, the homeless guys, man, they would be up in there and shit. Then you had a few women uh, uh, get drunk and shut down. They up in the wrong location, screwing and getting screwed on. I learned about a lot of stuff about the herbs, too. How to heal the body. And my great grandma and grandma and them, they was herbalists. Okay, well, got a customer in the car now. I'll have to talk to you later, but I love you. Okay, I love you too. I'm probably going to give you $60 tomorrow. Then you pay. Yeah, yeah, right, right. There's only son left. I told him, bring him to me. And hey, I used the method that the slaves used. And I had Africans lined up from here all the way back to Midway. <sighs> What's up, everybody? So, I guess a lot just happened, actually. But I never think to record whenever shitty stuff is happening. Because it's like, I just want to take care of the problem, you know? But, I got to the... You know, I flew in. I got a ride with that cabbie. I think I probably just showed some of that footage. And... Then I got to the hotel and they're like, hey, your reservation's been canceled. I'm, I'm here in Chicago for three days. And they're like, yeah, we're like, we, you know, since you're here, we can give you the room tonight, but we can't for the next two nights. And I was like, what happened? Funny, you should ask, right? <clears throat> because I didn't share this with you guys. Just, I didn't want to put Austin on blast or whatever, but she lost my credit card last night. And I was like, no big deal. We'll just cancel it and I'll take a debit card on my trip to Chicago. Well, it was that credit card that I booked the hotel with. So I called Navy Federal, canceled it, and then today they tried to charge it. And then, since it was declined, they automatically canceled my reservation. So get to Chicago and I got no room. Anyways, I just changed my hotel completely and I found a place with a government rate. So this is my room. I just walked in. I'm like exhausted just from dealing with all that, but I'm happy to be here and I'm like phew, catching my second wind. It's just like, okay, it's cool. Everything's good. This is the hotel. It's, you know, it's actually like, I think it's probably nicer than the hotel I was staying at before. It's more like, it's like a little cottage in here. Check it out. Hey, so I'm happy. Everything's good. 
And that'll probably be it for tonight. The World Series is going on while I'm here. Uh, so, like, every bar is packed and stuff. And at some point, I'm definitely going to go check that out. But I don't know if it'll be tonight or not. We'll see. Out. What's going on, everybody? We're here in Chicago, Chi Town. Blogging 101. Um, my friend Paul World here series. is a newbie. But I'm with Rook. Uh, <laughs> um, Mac and Roni and cheese pizza is everything Mac that any Maroni. person would ever think of it. It's amazing, it's phenomenal. And then this pizza is chicken and waffles. Uh -huh. Let's see. I got you, dude. I got you. Paul's going for it. He's going for it. I'm taking a while for Hopefully pizza. he doesn't suck. How are you feeling, Paul? How are you feeling, baby? How are you feeling? Oh, he's feeling it. I can't hide it. <laughs> it's good. Kind of a unique scene. But when you actually have a bite of the chicken, the chicken, the chicken is on point. We're here at the College Board Forum. <sighs> And I haven't been doing any vlogging today. My apologies, but I'll be doing some tonight. World Series going hard. And this is the cityscape right behind me. So, and what's up, cool Chicago Uber driver? Hey. What's your name? Pico. Well, Pico. It says Ulysses on the profile, but okay. <laughs> Ulysses. Ulysses sounds a little bit more exotic. Madonna and Cher. Yeah, okay. or like RuPaul. Yeah. Okay, RuPaul. That works. What's going on everybody? It's your boy, Life with Mac here. And just got out of the conference. I'm pretty tired. We're gonna go get some Chicago style pizza. Imagine that tourist shit, right? And maybe later a Chicago hot dog. <laughs> oh, that's good. Chicago mm -hmm. hot dog. What, do you say what's up? Yo, what's up? I'm here with your boy, whoever you said he was. Mm -hmm. For the second night in a row. All right, we're out. More to come. Like, key words like. Pokemon Go. Because <laughs> we are right beside the Trump Tower. Oh, Trump, Trump Tower? Tower that, how there. timely. Uh, we just passed, it, we just passed the Trump Tower. I looked at that hotel stand. Oh, man. Like, yeah, dude. I... <laughs> Trump 2016, though, right? Uh, yeah. It's like saying I'm moving to Aleppo. All right. What was I? Oh, I was about to go on a rant. I already forgot. Trump. No. I don't want to talk about Trump. The two years of political science, I'm like so over You're that over shit. It, yeah. That's how. That's like half the reason I ended up doing like a career unrelated. Yeah. You know, I was like. It makes tons. Mm -mm. Makes tons of sense to spend thousands of dollars on something and then never practice it again. Yeah, I don't spend thousand dollars on shit. Well, the government. The government. Yeah, it's the same thing for me. Ah, like, Mac major, and then like I'm never gonna touch that shit again. I know, but you can thank like you. calculate tips or something. Yeah, thank you. For Next time I'm at the strip majors. club. Uh, Shit. Monetary terms. Oh yeah, definitely. I really did forget the rant I was about to go on. Yeah, well I'm glad your viewers love this <sighs> rant. Sorry guys. I'm sorry. Like if you want to give them encouragement. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need for me to be like confrontational. I'm just not like a confrontational guy. Okay, got it. But for some reason when I was a kid, I got along with everybody except for this one kid on my soccer team that I constantly would get in his face and say, bring it. And I think it was like, I, I don't know why. Why? Because I remember he, that he was like the bully. Uh, and I would like thought like, or this is my interpretation as a kid. I don't know. Like he was like kind of a jerk. And I would just like get in his face and, be, and say, bring it to him. Like all the time. That was my thing. I'd just be like, bring it, bring it, bring it. And then he knocked you out senseless. No, nothing like happened. <laughs> Cause like I'm intimidating as like, I know you don't know me, but you're sitting next to me. I'm bold, sure you feel this. Cool last statement, my friend. Bobby Van Noe. I don't know why I had it, like, I had it out for him because I thought he deserved it. Yeah. But, like, my dad retells it. He's like, yeah, I don't know why. You always just get in this kid's face. You gotta get it. But he never saw. Huh? Chicago pizza. How is it, El Presidente? It's phenomenal. Good? 
Pizza. Some Chicago pizza. Say what's going on, guys. This is not my first time. It's my first theater. time. Popping this cherry. Let's do it. When we played uh, Northwestern here, we had the night off beforehand. We all went on and got some new fish. I don't remember the name of the place, though. What's going on, everybody? Haven't vlogged since last night, so let me just catch you up real quick. Oh my gosh, that Chicago pizza is so good. And it's really thick. I mean, obviously, it's like deep dish Chicago. But they were telling me, like, oh, you can't have more than a couple pieces, you get full. I could definitely eat a full, like, small or medium, you know, Chicago-style pizza. That play, oh my gosh. And it's called, like, Illuminati's or something. How did, I don't know. Oh my gosh, so good, so good. Uh, but since then, I just traveled home. I took my flight back out of Chicago. It was a little crazy because the World Series going on. Uh, I guess there's a lot of private jets flying in. And I guess there was some kind of like little plane fire in O'Hare. I don't know. But um, but yeah, back home. Thanks for coming along on my little trip to Chi-Town, the windy city. And see you later, bye.